Hey book babes, what's going on? I'm in my car today because I feel like being in my car. So excuse any noise you may hear if it's the AC or whatever. I live in Texas, okay? And I love you, but not enough to not have the AC on, okay? Sorry. That's where I draw the line. I gotta pick me first, Lucius, you know? I have some footage of me just walking around in some bookstores in Austin when I went to go visit um, a friend there during spring break. So that's the footage of this, basically. And this was my first time ever vlogging in public. So the videos aren't that great. But yeah, because I got very self-conscious. So I figured I should like narrate what's happening. So let's get into it. So the first place I went to was Amazon Prime Books. This is in the domain in Austin and I'm very glad I went when I did. I went on a Friday and I'm pretty sure they permanently closed that follow following Saturday <laughs> which is very tragic. I guess they weren't doing that well that location. Um, it might have been a starter up to see how things went but I really enjoyed this store. I didn't buy anything. As you can see in the video, they have like candles and just some stationery and things of that sort. I think they even had light bulbs, if I'm not mistaken. But they had more things than just books. But the majority of the store was book related, which was fun. Um, the thing with this store is, I guess, if I, since I didn't buy a book, I'm not too sure how the sale worked but they have like a prime price and I don't know if you needed to have a prime account to get that price or not or if just being at that store in general means you got that price I'm not too sure and I guess we'll never know since it's closed now but <laughs> overall I really enjoyed the store it was very cute I enjoyed the vibes and then the next day I went to book people book people is the biggest indie bookstore in all of Texas I think maybe just Austin I'm not too sure but it is a indie bookstore and this thing was humongous I didn't vlog a whole lot in it but it's actually really big um there's also outdoor seating but that was blocked off for today for some reason um or at least the rooftop seating was not necessarily like just normal outdoor seating but they had some really pretty journals I almost got one of those um, they had they had at least two stories up there was a third story I saw but that was blocked off for like employees only so I don't really know what's over there um, but it was quite humongous I was a little overwhelmed to be honest with you um, but I actually did buy a book here. I saw that they had the cool blind date with a book options that I've seen on the internet sometimes. Like with the description, as you can see, I was torn between the one that says uh, women, Vikings, and romance and stuff or the world ending prophecies with magic. And so because I was torn, I actually made a friend that was looking at the same section and she convinced me to get the end ending prophecy one which I have right here this is the book it's called there will come a darkness it's apparently a trilogy um, it almost has four stars on Goodreads I think it's multiple POVs um, and I'm pretty excited by it I'm very glad of this purchase it was a fun time um, honestly this blind Today with a book was probably the cheapest book options to buy there if I'm being completely honest um and it does have like this like damage right here but I honestly I don't know if it came that way or if it was because I was when I was opening it that I might have done that so I guess we'll never know but this book was like 12 bucks and it was a surprise so I think that was a pretty good deal and the women Vikings one was like 11 so I was like why not if I'm gonna buy a book if I have the money to buy a book and I've been wanting to buy a book why not let it be a fun little time especially since those options are cheaper than the other options that they had um, since it's an indie bookstore it has more of a retail book price compared to Amazon books who had a more like 
prime cheaper book option um, but yeah I really enjoyed book people there's parking there it's downtown so it was nice free parking um, we just parked there and then walked around we got some food from a food truck and then we got some gelato from a food truck as well which was very good I got hazelnut in a cone and then we walked on over to the public library downtown in Austin and oh my gosh that library made me want to move to Austin just so I can get a library card there and go there all the time. <laughs> there was four stories, kids and teens specifically. The second floor is like fiction, uh, romance, YA, or not YA, but it's fiction and romance and stuff like that for the second floor. The third floor is nonfiction and audiobooks, and I think the fourth floor was also nonfiction, if I'm not mistaken. But if you get on the fourth floor they also have outdoor seating that or like rooftop type of seating where you can overlook the river so that was really fun and pretty and it was very relaxing we kind of just sat there for a little bit and like regrouped since we were walking all downtown our feet kind of hurt so yeah but it looks like they had a lot of good options so that's cool if you live anywhere near austin or in austin i highly re recommend going to that bookstore it was very nice or not bookstore hello it's a library <laughs> i liked that library i enjoyed it very much it was very cool and nice i would literally just stay upstairs in or outside in on the rooftop just all the time because that was pretty nice but yeah so that concludes my trip to Austin and all the book places I went to. Um, I'm really excited about my blind date with the book. Don't know when I'll start reading it because I have a lot of things I have to read on Libby. So, yeah. But I'm very intrigued by this book. And it's a trilogy, so that will be interesting. I always end up, I don't know about y'all, but I always end up, getting trapped into a series without knowing like I'll buy the first book not knowing it's a whole series and then now I'm stuck reading a series <laughs> which I guess is fine you know series are fun it's just I wish I was aware of the commitment I was getting into you know so <laughs> but yeah that concludes my little vlog time in Austin hope you enjoyed the video um definitely check out book people and there was obviously more options in austin didn't really have the time for to look at all of it because i was only staying for like the weekend so yeah but it was a fun little time i enjoyed it and hope you liked this video and i will see you next time bye